welcome back to Susan's Kitchen Corner. On this episode, we're going to be making deep fried cauliflower. So we're going to need a steamer basket. Uh, here's one type, like this. See how it works? You put the water in, you put the lid on, you steam it. Or you have this one, which is, looks like this. You get it in the store like this, and then you flop it open. And then it fits any pot, like this. Has little legs on the bottom. And this one's got some use because it's missing a, it's, I have a little thing missing here. So this gets lots of use. So plop that in. Uh, we're going to need peanut oil for frying the whole thing because you want to, we're going to use, actually we're going to use this pan to put the oil in. So we're going to, we're not going to use this method of steaming. We're going to use this method of steaming because it's a little bit bigger, holds a little bit more um, cauliflower. We're going to need Planko bread crumbs. This is the brand I like. If you have your own favorite ones, go for it. Uh, we're going to need a bowl to put the bread crumbs in. We're also going to need another bowl to put two eggs in, but crack one egg at a time. And then as you're dipping in the cauliflower into the egg, as you go along and it disappears, then crack another egg. So it's you're not cracking two eggs, depending on the size of your eggs, because you know you don't want to crack two eggs, find out you have a small cauliflower, and then you have le egg left over. Okay, let's get going. Here we have the cauliflower, and it's got it's this is from the store. It's got some issues, but we're gonna work around that. Not every season you get good produce, but you do with what you have. So we're gonna peel all that off the best we can. Crack it. Okay, let's get rid of this. Put it in the trash. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our knife. I'm going to stick it right down in here, in between. See where the stem is? Let's stick it down. Push it all the way through and turn it. And crack that off. See how that works? Now what I like to do is, you see how you have this meat in here? Take your knife, chop the sides off, like that, and then make sure you chop the bottom off. But this right in here, I love this. This is like the best thing, it's like an apple. It got a bit of a bite. Eat that while I cook. It got a bit of a bite, but I like it because I grew up eating it. So let's get back to the now me munching, making munching noises as I'm speaking. Peel the rest of these off. Um, so what we're going to do now is, okay, this has got some spots on it. It's not that bad. I usually do this over the sink, but what I like to do is you just take the knife, and of course this is why I do it over the sink because it goes everywhere, but take the knife and just gently knock it off. Like that. There's a spot right there. Right there. And then you got to realize... When this is cooking and the boiling in the steam, this is all going to get killed. And this isn't mold, this is just discoloration that happens as natural. And it's like you're carving right now. Let's go around, see any spots. Now if you physically see mold, which... Wow! Okay, this must must have been in packaging. There's a slice right down the middle here. Not very noticeable, but right here. I thought that was like, what the heck is that? Okay, well, that does happen. You know, they come in boxes and you guys get the big knives come through and they, they slice them open. Probably hit the, the cauliflower. 
Okay, so that looks about right. We'll check the other scene. That makes it does make a mess. So this is why I tend to like to do it over the sink. Crummy crumbs all over the place. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these florets off. So oh, there's a little bit more right there. So there's a floret. We're gonna stick it right in here. There's another floret. So what you're doing is you're taking the knife down to where the stem is and you're breaking it. Like stick it down. Crack. Now, if you're like, see, there's the stem right there. If you're like, holy moly, I mean, this is a really huge piece. I don't want it this huge. Cut it in half. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to leave it that way. Here's a smaller piece. Another piece. Another one. And again, you got this huge area in here. Where, oh, yeah, that's right. Got my. Mm. Another piece. This is okay. It's it's rust. That's what they call it in lettuce, and I'm sure that's what they call it. Thing. It's not. I've eaten like this before. Uh, this is good food. It's like if you look at this and go, oh my god. If now if there's fuzz on it and it looks like fur, get rid of it. And then this is where you're going to have the little pieces now towards the top. If you, and if you can get it just right, you can cut across the top. Now watch this, then you break them. And you're going to have really small pieces in here. Let me just break that one in half. Okay. Okay, there we go. And let's check out this. See, there's parts of it on the outside that you can't eat. So... Then cut away any unsavory areas of it. And chow down. I love this stuff. Cause this stuff here, you could eat it, but it's kind of gnarly. I'm going to use this for that purpose. Now, after I've made a mess all over the place, Now we're going to bring it over here to the burner and we're going to put about two cups of water into it. And the thing is, you want to watch this because like get a get a uh, well, like, it's cool. Get something metal and kind of look at it. See if there's water in it. If it's boiling, because you don't want this to boil dry. Get a lid. Put it on boil, on high. Make sure the burner's on. And you're gonna you're gonna cook this. I, I don't know if you guys noticed, but you probably do if you watch me. I really don't tell you how long because cooking is all about visual taste and texture um so what you want to do is you want to have like a again safety factor if this was hot and this is just really just steaming up take your lid face it away from you all the steam is going to go this way never this way because that steam is going to go right in your face and soup, any, um, anything that says, oh, steam is good for your face, because there's no steam coming up. 
that's really don't do it because there's only that one chance you're gonna do it and I've gotten steam burns on my fingers that look horrific and so to put your face in this is a no-no so take your lid lift it up grab one of the pieces I always say usually grab one of the thicker pieces take it out put it on the cutting board and get a sharp knife which I have a sharp knife but it's being used <laughs> um, and stick it through now this when, when this gets done this is not to, meant to be mushy this is you want it tender and I will show you in the next progressive video what tender means and what lo it looks like on screen now we're coming to a theater new, near you the tender video I don't know I just had to say that um, and let's see so while this is steaming you want to get your your nibbles out of the bowl you're going to use for the plango crumbs and we're going to want to open this up big foil bag and my method to use this you know don't just I see people I mean you know everyone does it different but they just fill the thing all the way to the top that's not necessary. Pour in a little bit. Almost knocks me over there. Pour in a little bit. Like this. Now it is going to get messy. So just pour in a little bit. And as you're dredging the cauliflower in here, um, try to use it up as much as possible. So by the time you add more, you're not wasting it. Because sometimes, you know, you do... You, you don't want to waste this. And then we're going to get our uh, two eggs out, but not until this is done. So, I usually let this cook. I don't time anything. That's the thing. It's just, I, I, um, I'm a visual person. You know, if you stand, if you're next to what you're cooking, and you're not being distracted, you can you can actually smell it's like it's like an oven we have things in the oven when they're close to being done is when you smell them that's the, the kind of like the the oh I can smell the muffins that means they're getting close to being done or I can smell the, the shrimp which is close to being done yes I love shrimp um, so I will be back and just keep an eye on what you're doing and you know and when you take it out we're gonna taste it and see if it's the right texture make sure it's cooled down because you're going to burn your tongue so i will be back in a few